In the previous video, we showed you how to set up MetaMask in order to use this on the Avalanche network and Zero Exchange. And in this video, we're going to show you how to get some AVAX from a centralized exchange. In this video, we'll use Binance and send it over to your MetaMask account in order to use on Zero. You'll need to do this because in order to use the Avalanche network, you need some AVAX in order to be able to make transactions. It's the gas fee currency of the network in the same way as Ethereum is used on the ERC20 network. The difference being that the fees are absolutely tiny on the Avalanche network. Begin by heading to wallet.avax.network. There's a link in the video description below and then click to create a new wallet. Click to generate a seed phrase and then make sure that you copy and save this somewhere securely. Never put this into any other website and never give it to anybody. It's essentially like the keys to your bank account. Once we've done that, we'll tick the box to confirm that we've wrote down our key phrase and then we'll click the button to access our wallet. You'll then have to verify that you did actually save your key phrase by filling in some missing words. Once done, click to verify and you can now access your wallet. Here we have the Avalanche web wallet loaded and you'll notice in the top right hand corner there are three different chains. There's X chain, P chain and C chain. X chain and C chain are the only two you really need to know about for this tutorial. Exchange is for getting funds to and from exchanges. An easy way to remember is X chain, exchange. And then C chain is the chain that Zero runs on and it's also the chain that your MetaMask is on. To transfer AVAX from an exchange such as Binance, we need to first make sure that we have our X chain address copied. So here we click to copy the address and then we head over to Binance where you can see that we have a balance of just under one AVAX. So, we're going to click on withdraw and then we're going to select the currency AVAX. Paste the address that you just copied from your web wallet, then fill in the amount that you want to send and click submit to submit the transaction. And then fill in the verification code in order to withdraw from Binance. Usually the transaction is instant. However, this depends entirely on Binance on that particular day. And sometimes it can take up to 30 minutes. And so we're going to head back to the AVAX web wallet to see if the transaction has come through yet. The transaction was successful and we now have one AVAX in our X chain balance. However, we need this in C chain so that we can send it to MetaMask. To do this, click the cross chain tab on the left hand side, and this will load the cross chain interface. And in the source, select X chain. And then for the destination chain, you need to select C chain. Input the amount you would like to cross over and click to confirm. The process is nearly instant and our balance will now be updated with the AVAX available in C chain. Next, we need to send it to MetaMask. Begin by opening MetaMask and copying your address and then click on the send tab on the left hand side of the web page. You need to select the C chain as the source, input the amount you would like to send, and then paste the address into the corresponding box. And when ready, click confirm, and then click again to begin the transfer. You can then begin to trade on zero on the Avalanche blockchain with nearly zero fees. Let's say you want to head in the other direction. So for example, you've been using Zero to make trades and you've accumulated a balance of AVAX tokens. If you wanted to take those AVAX tokens and you didn't want to use the Ethereum bridge, you could use this technique in order to get them onto a centralized exchange. The process to do this is very similar to what we just covered. However, it is essentially moving in reverse. So instead of converting from X chain to C chain, we're now converting from C chain to X chain. To begin, open your AVAX web wallet and make sure that you copy the C chain address. Then head over to MetaMask and send the AVAX to the address that you just copied. The transfer should only take a couple of seconds and the balance will appear in your AVAX web wallet. Once there, simply convert it from C chain into X chain. And then once it's available on the X chain, you can simply send that to your centralized exchange wallet. 
In the next video, we'll be covering how to use Zero's cross-chain transfer bridge in order to bridge your tokens from ERC20 over to the Avalanche network, where you can begin to trade them with nearly zero fees, instant order finality, and without bots front running those orders. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful.